Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you installing the session based uh, remote desktop service in Windows uh, 2016 server RTS, RTS. so first uh, you should set up uh, a static IP join the domain so I bypass these two steps you can check my other video how to set it up so installing roles that's uh, here so in your server manager you can click install add add roles so you will have this wizard so next you cho choose the remote desktop service installation and pick up the first one standard the so session based okay this is our goal install okay this is the server pool okay I'm going to install this one on the local one connection broker okay web access I'm going to use the same server for all the roles session host okay So need to be reboot. Okay, ask me to reboot and continue. Okay, we will do a reboot first. Okay, I make this server to acting as three rows. Okay, and ask me restart destination server automatically if needed. So I'm going to deploy. Starting deploy. Interesting, I don't see the license server. Anyway, we'll check it out later. Okay, so it's successfully installed. It's uh, close. We can see here we got some new roles new management roles so let's see gateway license and uh, host session host add session host server server pool Okay, let's do the initial setup to create the collections. So when we are in this one, so we have two rows. So collections. If we want to publish something, some application over net, we need collections. Okay. So here you can create a new session collections name. So pick up the server. This is the server we already have. Uh, who can access this uh, server? So profile disk. Anyway, so create. Okay, we have one collection created. Now we are ready to publish uh, application. We, for example, we publish that Google Chrome, publish. After we publish, then we are able to use the browser to browse this server. This is the address RD web. Okay, RD web. So we can continue and uh, log in. Ok, 
Okay, sign in. Oh, I need. Okay, I can see my published application. Then I can launch it. Okay, I successfully launched the Google Chrome from the remote session host. Okay, so yeah, that's all you can do to set up a session based remote desktop service on Windows 2016. So, check my other video to see how to. Uh, associate a valid certificate and how to publish it to the internet okay please subscribe and comment thanks